and a Little League baseball field rendered unusable by someone's act of cruelty. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. The word vandalism doesn't really sum up what happened to the field at Veterans Memorial Park. It really doesn't. The field is torn up badly because someone decided to drive all over it. Our Steve Garagiola is live in Chesterfield Township with a closer look at the damage. Steve, this is a real head scratcher, isn't it? Well, yeah, you wonder why and you wonder who. It's just so sad what has happened out here. If you would have walked this baseball field last summer, Man, you would have thought you were at Comerica Park. The infield, smooth dirt, the grass manicured. But now we're into the spring. We're about two weeks away from the Little League season. Look at this. Take a look around. We're out in the outfield. This was a field of dreams. Now it's a nightmare. It's called Veterans Memorial Park. Last Friday night, somebody came out here in a truck and tore this baseball field up. Angry or bored, Whoever did this was not satisfied with the level of destruction. They came out here again last night. They had to have because there's more tracks. Here's what this Little League field looked like last summer. After parents and neighbors spent hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars to give their kids something special. Oh, I wish they had something else to do besides come out here and destroy a field that we spent hours and hours and hours and endless days trying to fix. The Little League season here is supposed to start in about two weeks. That leaves these folks short on time and money to make repairs. We ask a lot of, of parents to contribute money so that the kids can play. Um, you know, we're not for profit. Everything that you see that goes into these fields, this field in particular, it's, a, it's, a, it's out of pocket for the people that care about the game and care about the community. It's sad. It's just, it's, I'm disgusted. Well, it is so sad. Hundreds of kids, and they don't know what to do. These neighbors and the parents, they do have a GoFundMe page set up. They are the Detroit Diamond Jacks. That's J-A-X-X. -X. Money they are raising, they built this fence. They were hoping to raise money to put a fence all the way around the field to protect it. But that project may have to go on hold now because what money they have, they're going to need to try to repair this field. Carmen, Devin, back to you. Oh, Steve, do police have any leads on who might be responsible for this? Well, sadly, the short answer is no. I mean, as you look around, you can see there's just woods surrounding the field, so there are no surveillance cameras. They think this happened sometime in the very early morning hours, so nobody saw anything. Police uh, I talked to a detective this afternoon in Chesterfield. He said really what they hope for is just somebody will come forward, or at the very least, the person or persons who did this will just stop. All right, and let's hope they do. Our Steve Gargiola reporting yeah. for us live.